there are a lot of really cool freely available and low cost models for you to download and try printing available on the internet. One of the coolest has to be the full T-Rex skeleton from MakerBot. So I printed one at 200%. Of course, I wasn't satisfied with the stock size and I kind of wanted an excuse to use the full build volume of my Ender 6. So I scaled it up to 200%. I could maybe even fit 300% in there uh, with only one of the support pieces requiring modification, but uh, that'll have to be a project for another day. I chose to print this in white eSun ABS Plus partially because I had a lot of it left over from my Voron V0 build, which you can check out a playlist for that, uh, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> but it also turns out I think ABS is a great material for model building. Normally you would use PLA for something like this, but ABS is great. Uh, for one, it's cheap, it's just as cheap as PLA. Uh, and more importantly for model building, it, ABS is a very workable material. It's uh, it's very carvable, you can carve it, you can sand it, you can grind it, you can drill it, and it, uh, it behaves really nicely versus something like PLA. You can kind of do that with PLA, uh, but it, it also kind of kind of tends to just kind of gum up and tear. And especially if you're doing like grinding where it gets warm, it'll melt really quickly and now you just have a, a goopy mess. I printed pretty much all of these parts with two perimeters, three top and bottom layers, and 10 to 15% infill. That made for a lighter weight model less material usage but it's going to be somewhat fragile and that should be okay because it's just a display model so right off the bat we get to start with the hip bone look at that what a beautiful model that printed really nicely i've already done a little bit of work on here you can see i've been able to grind away on these on these overhangs these are some areas where it didn't print really well so a couple of things i can do to clean that up uh, one would be just obviously carving it here with an X-Acto knife. It's a little bit of carving. And this is where the ABS just, I mean, it just cuts really nicely. Something like, something like PLA would just kind of, it just gets kind of gummy and, and it's just not great to work with. And then another trick I'm gonna use a lot is the uh, backside of the X-Acto knife blade, believe it or not, works really well for just kind of carving like this. I can just kind of smooth those edges out. Clean this here. Kind of clean that up a little bit. I guess one nice thing about it being a, you know, a bones is that, you know, bones don't look perfect. So I'm sure 65 million year old bones especially don't look perfect. So uh, if my print doesn't look perfect, well, that's okay. Gonna need some clips. One issue you'll run into when scaling up a model like this is all of the clearance dimensions for things like these clips are designed for you know, the original scale. So when you scale it up 200%, those clearance values also increase by 200%. So that means these things are probably gonna fit a little loose. I need my leg bones here, my femurs and my tibias. Very cool looking parts. And this guy goes into here like that. I think I'm gonna not glue anything until, yeah, quite a range of motion there. I'm gonna not glue it until I have to. Before I do, before I move on, I got some cleanup work I want to do on the foot on these overhangs. Stuff just cuts really nicely. It's like it's really made for, you know, for modeling. It's almost like, almost like working with clay.
that is already blowing my mind. That is super cool. <laughs> Look at how big that is. Wow. Now we're on to the tail. Some of these were some of the more complicated parts to print. You can see the very last tail section required quite a bit of support material. Very tall, thin, narrow part. This part needs a lot of work. A lot of really ugly overhangs on here. Yeah, this one, this is tail part B. And this one I needed to add support material between the individual vertebrae here. Very fragile uh, when you scale this part up. That is a tail. Look at that. Back on the hips and legs. I'm gonna take the legs off for now because there's a lot of play in here and I know that has to uh, stand on the stand, on the base. So I'll, uh, I'll assemble everything else and then I'll put that together kind of in place. Off tail, and I missed the bottom of the, the hip bone here. I don't need that.
thinking I want to get him mounted up on the on the base. My base is printed in Hatchbox PLA gray cement, stone gray cement, uh, which is a pretty cool material. It definitely looks like rock. And you can see I just ran out a little bit of material there, but we're just gonna go with it. There's the base. That could use that that part could use to be a little bit stiffer. <laughs> jaw and the neck. Okay, the jaw needs a lot of work. While you're watching me work on T-Rex's teeth here, take a sec to smash that subscribe and like button. I've got a lot of cool projects in the works that I hope to be able to share with you. And of course, if you're subscribed, that will help you see that content. And subscriptions and notifications and comments, all that stuff helps the channel grow as well, which would help me out and I'll be able to continue making cool project videos to share with you guys. to the neck. Ha! <laughs> 
How neat is that? Next up are the ribs. Mr. T-Rex here needs a rib cage. On the ribs, as you might imagine, gave me some of the most trouble. A lot of tall, skinny parts. 3D printers tend to have a hard time with tall, skinny parts. That's it, the last two joints. T-Rex completed. Without a doubt, that was one of the coolest things I've ever printed and put together. Well, I'm super stoked on this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you will be inspired to print your own things and share them online. If you like the content, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, the bell, and share it with your friends. All that stuff really helps the channel. And I've got some, uh, you know, some new projects coming in the future that I really look forward to sharing with you guys. Until next time.